Hey up everyone and welcome back to the north for the next episode of War Tales on Expert Difficulty with the Dees Herters hopefully becoming your favourite deserters. So last episode we finally finished off the scenario for the fate of Artez. We did side with Count or Lord Vanalis, I guess you could say. A little bit power hungry on the whole Holy War side but he did seem less of an awful person than Count Lahart but hey they were both neither perfectly good or perfectly bad people at the end of the day, I suppose. But Lahar drew the uh, short straw on that one, so we did take him out. We then took out a quick group very quickly, and now it's a case of just sorting out the rest of the scenario, well, not scenario stuff, but stuff we can do in the County of Artes, which basically leads to, we've got a contract we need to go and quickly do, which we do need for the money, because I do need to pay us next time we rest, and that's 304 and the actual contract itself is, what, 312? So, yeah, that's already eight. I think I might also take the contract to take on the main bad person in this area as also dealing with the bandit's lair, because we're going to be doing those soon anyway. But I think my main objective today is doing this, then doing this, and then I'm probably going to go to the tomb. I mean, I, I kind of see, like, why not at this point, and hopefully get some better armor for our new people. Now, I have moved and shaped a few things around. That level six armor we got last time was actually better than the thing that Krista was having. So now Krista has that better armor and has finally be able to use that reinforced layer of the stag. So her strength has flown up and her armor has flown up. Additionally, I did also decide to make the Ghost Great Axe, which turns out is un un undeniably and obviously much better than the axe she had. So she's like gone up by about 10 strength, which is nuts. And then Rogar is using her old axe, which is really useful. It would be really good to get both Octavia and Sol some armor. I did find some cheap armor that I could give to Sol, but Octavia is still using some kind of lower end armor. So it would be nice to try and figure out that. There's still nothing really I can put in there, but maybe from going to the tomb, we might be able to find something. Right, quickly whilst I'm here, I'm just going to go to the tavern. Quick, 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 quick. I almost can't see it sometimes. I need some more food. Apparently I need, what, 80, I need 92. So I need three, three more. If I go to the emissary quickly, I am. The bandit slayer apparently is now easy, although I don't know how I feel about that. My influence has basically hit basically nothing, so I guess I'm going to have to accept it. Also, apparently, the ghost of Harag is still quite dangerous, but I would like to know where they are. The Tomb of the Ancients, so is 310, that's average. So maybe I will take that one. Let's take, right, let's take this one. Yeah, funny, I do know where it is, don't worry. I, I, I need that space for that extra contract now. But at least you can go and deal with these guys, come back, get paid, get food, and then head up there. And also deal with that other bandit tower, which unfortunately isn't a contract. I kind of wish that was, that would have worked out the best. But it hasn't. Right, let's get up there. We also have to sort of dodge the lore a bit, because we're still very much wanted. Like, I can't remember the last time we weren't wanted. So we just got to be a little bit careful, because the lore is literally there. So let's kind of sidle around those guys, and let's finally go take to fight, take the fight to that group that keeps interfering with us. It is a level 7 group, though, but I think that will mean that if I look at our group currently, Ela, I think Ela will probably level up. Rolf might? I don't think Maul will. I think we will see some more level 6s today. I really hope we do. It's been a right pain just to get to level 6. When we're fighting people who are... Well, in most cases, two levels higher than us, you know? Don't mind us, uh, peacekeepers. It seems that you've got your hands full with another bandit group. So we're just going to go deal with the bandit group that's been... <sighs> I'm stuck on a ro I'm stuck on, like, a rock again. I'm going to go find the bandit group that's been a problem to us for a while. I assume it's not that group. Oh, they seem to be chasing each other. That's very weird. I don't know what they're doing down there. Acting like a bunch of silly buggers, that's what. The group we're fighting and chasing... Oh, maybe it isn't the group, but I thought it was going to be then. It might have been that group that kept dogging us constantly, where in this case, this is a different group. Okay, well, apparently, they're hiding in the woods somewhere, so I think I should be able to ambush them. Ambush, 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 right, go, charge, go, before we turn around, quickly now. God, we're kind of running kind of slowly. I don't think we got to ambush them because they turned around at the last second. That's a little annoying. How many have they got? Two, four, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, fine. Easy, is it? I guess we'll see. Once again, I don't really appreciate how uh, the game is defining it as easy now. After taking two attacks from the same unit and a single turn, the unit gains fury. Damage dealt to targets in combat increased by 30%. The unit engaged. Like, all the buffs that they gave. Man. <laughs> I don't like to complain about it this much, but it is stupid. It's just 
it just feels really dumb. Well, anyway, can't do anything about it now, I guess. I guess I'm going to force them to try and have to come over here and try and deal with... We'll try and deal with this group first and foremost so we can just, like, sort them out. So that one's going to go first. I can't really do much about that, unfortunately. It's probably going to shoot and do a shit ton of damage. Then it's that hoodlum. But that hoodlum is miles away, and I mean miles away. So I'm kind of hoping... It would be nice to try and kill the leader first and foremost, just so we're done. Right, tell you what, Krista, let's go f see what this new weapon can do, eh? I would like to test it on their, on their leader. And you know, the guy next to him would be great as well. Well! That happened. By golly, I wish I had created that weapon a long time ago, don't you? Woo! Okay, well that's a start and half. Alright. See, it's saying there's a chance. Right, there's a wrong'un over there. I know he's a wrongdoer, but he's called he's a wrong'un, alright? That's what that's what I'm gonna call him. Absolute wrong'un. Right, get in there and start spinning. Pretty please. Decent start, I'd say. Can you hit them both? Right, I would like to try and get out the burning. But Oh you know you, you can. Get away from the fire and still get me a point. So you're not really losing me any uh, valor at the end of the day. You're probably still gonna be able to shoot. Who are you gonna shoot? Is it Fenris? You know what? I can live with that. I don't I don't mind it, is what I'm saying. I don't mind it. That poacher is gonna be coming up, so I would like to handle him. Cora is in an okay position. You know what, Rogar, go there, throw that at him, and then lock him down if you could. Nice, very good. I know you're not going to get the point for it because you need to hit several people, but at the very least, you're going to lock them down so you can't do anything about it. Fury with punching is, well, Fury with punching. So you're next, and then it's this hoodlum here, so I would like to try and deal with this guy as soon as possible. What I will do is, I can't lock him down there. Can I throw a bomb to hit these three? I can. Not bad. I don't need to heal at the moment. Can I then... Can I get in and stab him? The angle's wrong. Okay. Well, he's on fire. And I'll get a point. I guess that's something, but the angles are all a bit iffy. As they say. They don't say iffy. Pretty, pretty something similar, though. Right, get in there, Lurian. Give me a kill. Also, get me a point. Can you get here and weaken this guy and lock him down? That I'll take. I'll take that. Really wish there was a jail in this area just so I could, you know, actually arrest people and take them in. But it does seem like that's just not really a thing around here, you know? Now, Cora, you're a little bit too far away. Cole, on the other hand, you could do more damage to a scoundrel because he's already got a lot of damage. So let's stack a bit more on him. And let's try out these new things. So 12 to 16 to the target. Applies fragility to all enemies next to the unit or target for one round. Applies protection to all allies next to the unit or target for one round. Okay, let's just see what happens. Nothing, I don't think. I mean, 9 damage for a punch is... Pretty impressive, let's be honest. I've got to give it to him. Got to give it to him. Right. Sound off to just kill this one. Put him out of his misery. And then, if you want to add encouragement to everyone around here for two rounds, that would be fan dabby dozy. Stay away from the poison, please. It's probably bad for your health. I can almost guarantee that it's bad for your health. Now, what's next? How far away are you? Too far away? Are you going to be in range to actually do any damage here? Or are you going to be too far away? You are in range. Good stuff. Great work, my son. Are you going to be able to throw at them both? No, but... You can at least make this person wish they were never born. And that, I will take. Well, I'm glad I didn't have a spinny ability. He did just set Lyrian on fire, but... Hey. Can you get down here, Rolf? You can. You can galvanize and get me one point. It's not going to be a lot, but... Better than now, isn't it? Actually, hold that thought. 
hold that for. Uh, get in here, please. I can put Lyrian on this plant, to be fair, when I'm thinking about it. So I'm not actually too worried about that predicament. I'll get you here. It's now just all about... Well, I mean, it's always about positioning, but I think it's going to be more about positioning now. What's up, horsey? What are you going to do? Oh, you didn't attack him. You, you know you're okay to attack him, right? You don't, you don't need to wait for us. You can just do it. No? You don't want to? All right. Hmm. These shots are great. I could run. You know what? I'm going to. Not dead. But fine. How far do you go? Not in range. My preferred like, room for maneuver. You're not in range. Okay, Octavia, I might be able to actually utilize you quite well. Sol, also pull up in the back. Like I said, I don't want you guys getting super involved right now just because of what might occur. Occur? Occur. Right, you can't really move anyway, so it sucks to be you. And then it's the poachers go. So if anything, if we can deal with this guy first and foremost, that would be fantastic. Although, I don't know if we will be able to. We'll see. Well, there goes the health. Can you get... Apparently, I can get there without walking into poison. If the game did me then, I would have been very annoyed. But it didn't, so good for me, I guess. Get the poison in. Gives Femris brutality. You're going to move in, I guess, but you're not going to be close enough. Good. Let the hate flow through you. Can you get to this poacher? You can, Octavia. So please go lock him down. Apply weakening. That's good. And then pound. Take him to Pound Town for bolts. We'll give him fury, but it's just a punch in it. Don't worry about it. Now, Ferris, you've now got brutality. So if you want to come here and hit these both at the same time, you should kill one of them and deal a good amount of damage to the other. That guy didn't stand a chance. He's now on fire. I would honestly pull back. Just to, you know, remove yourself from the, situ from the situation that is the fire. Rodonis, you might be able to... Can anyone actually get there without just melting from the poison? No. I think I'm going to have to take it on. Oh, no! Here. I can stand here. Apparently, I don't get affected by the poison. Nice. See you later. Now, stay back slightly from Lyrian because he's on fire. Uh, Lyrian, go to that plant, please. If you could, see the play. I know, I know you'll be for the betterment. Look at you. You're feeling better already. Good job. Right, who's next? This poach is going to go. I mean, Rolf, galvanize. Why not? If not, why not? I'll get me, get me send two points. And then if I angle myself properly so I don't hit any of, me, any of me friends, that'd be nice. Well, there we go. And that's some galvanization. At least the audio's back as well. It was really, really offsetting me last time when it, when it was so damn quiet. Like, I just don't know why I was doing that. I just don't like hearing my, my own voice constantly like that. But, hey, it's resolved now. So now, oh, there's fire there. There's fire bloody everywhere. I tell you what, actually. Radonish just going to start working on this guy instead. He's got a heck ton of armor, so it's going to take a hot minute to get. Can I hit him both? Oh, I can. I love that ability. I love that I made Radonis a harpooner. It's so good. It's so good. Right, Ela. That one, please. Oh! Jesus. You might as well real call him while you're at it. It's the nice number, people. It's the nice number. Fantastic work. Um, I'm going to have to go for the fire regardless, aren't I? It's like a test of uh, wills, is it? Okay. I think we're going to have to go in regardless. Uh, I think we're all a bit stuck, though, because now we're in a position where nobody else can really move around the area. The wrong one doesn't take a turn for a while. So, Radonis, what you can do is go here. Go nuts. Oh, my God, you did go nuts. Oh, do you just want to finish it off? Do you want to finish it both off? Oh, that's nice. That's done. Amazing. That went really well to say that was, like, level 7s. Level 6 Dagger, that might be quite useful for when um, Maul gets to level 6. Uh, some Coal, that's quite useful. Amazing Hairbrush. And a level 6 Pig Iron Axe. I just I just created a new axe, man. 
I don't need more. Let's get repaired. Uh, Lyrium will get to level 5, which is fantastic. You love to see it. What's it got? First time this unit engages. I do like that ability. I do really like that. As long as the bonus is active on this unit, their attacks apply a weakening. I mean, I can never guarantee there's going to be bonuses applied to him, so I can't say that for sure. Each unit this unit engages, they gain deflection. He's more of a, because he's going for like Valorous Chain, he's not more of a getting involved. You know, let's go counterattack. I'm just going to counterattack. And I go, guess I'll add this for career plans. Let's just give him ten, a 1 in 10 chance to crit each time. I think that's quite good. Where are you on? Oh, you need 110. What about you? You're quite far off. Uh, Elo, I think, was the closest. Oh, man, you're, 30, you're 29 XP off. Are you, you're killing me, Smalls. Right. I've been saying that a lot lately. Okay. Let's get camped. There is a mine next to us, so I think I'm probably going to quickly run over to the mine just because I can. I think that'd be quite good. Um, just so I can get a few more materials. Can I make any food whilst I'm here? I cannot. Do I actually have any cooking supplies, like, at all? I've got loads of wheat. I just need to pick up. I, I bought, like... No, no, no. I want to go on, then. Go see if you can reach the mushrooms before you burn yourselves out, guys. There you go. Fair enough. Anyway, I've got the food for it. I've got I've got enough. I should be fine. I might as well leave those now. Let's rest up. Something might come from Cora praying, basically. Although... I don't know if that will be the case. I don't see any question marks sitting around anywhere. Can I just pull, like, three more white levers out here? I mean, there's no really harm in just having them in my inventory now. I just, just for the sake of keeping this neat, I just like keeping stuff in a certain area. This will be quite useful when it comes in. That, is that actually going to be better than Christus? I'm going to be really annoyed if it is. It's not. It's not. At least it'll be worth selling or keeping for Rogar. Um, I would have preferred some armor, but I guess that's not going to be happening this time around. God, this is taking forever. I think if we ever get to a point where we unlock a new, like, path, or maybe, like, Crime and Chaos, if there's one where it makes it go down faster, or if we just take less suspicion, that'd be kind of nice. I do need to pay everyone next time. Right. Let's quickly get to the mine, just so I can get some more iron ore. I'll grab that wood as well, and then we'll head back to town, get this handed in, and then it's off to the other place. Okay, apparently the, the iron ore deposits in this mine are finite because there's nothing that's respawned here, which is really annoying because most mines, when you go to them, it'll respawn like the iron ore deposits that you can then mine, but they, they haven't here. So much for that. That was a complete bust, wasn't it? I guess I could go to that one, but I don't see much point to it. Right, back to Korsha as quickly as we can. Hopefully we can get there before we uh, run out of fatigue. Mainly because, you know, food's not great. We're missing food by one. I will definitely find some mushrooms, don't worry. Just in case. But I don't think we should need to. I wonder if that group of bandits actually got killed by the guard, or if the guard got killed by the bandits. But I see neither group, so... I would have to assume that the guards killed the bandits, and then the guards just, like, vaminosed out of there. I, I, would, I would imagine. We're almost, <laughs> we're almost under 100. Jeez Louise. I think I'm probably going to end up selling the axe, because I've realized that I could just build another ghost axe and then give that to Rogar when he gets to level 6, but it's so far away. I need the money from the axe more, because he's not... He's not even level 5 yet, and we all know how long it takes to get from level 5 to level 6 these days. I'm kind of hoping that when we get back into the new area, we just get, like, a serious, like, boost from actually doing the contracts in that area as well. Okay, Ghost of Harag is still hard, apparently. I'm guessing Ghost of Harag is, like, level 8 or something, maybe? At least we're over a, over a grand again. Right. I'm going to go quickly sell some stuff and buy some food and all that jazz, and then we'll get going. Okay, so you'll notice our money's taken a bit of a dive, and I haven't paid everyone yet. So I did buy a few, like, bits and bobs here and there. I was able to craft a few more things. So now Yarman has the Ghost Spalder, which is quite good, and especially since Chris did such a good job of actually making it, there is actually two slots to deal with, so that looks a lot better. And I have been able to give Yarman's old armor to Oct Octavia, so she's also in a much better position. I also didn't realize I could actually buy the Edoranium Restoration here, whereas I thought I'd have to go all the way back to, like, Tiltron and do it. But I guess this is, this is Edoran, whereas that's Tiltron, so it might be a, se it might be a separate thing. Anyway, I'm gonna... Uh, boy, anyway. Repair materials and village blacksmiths restore 10 additional armor points. That's amazing. Yes, please. So if I now go down here, I've got Edoranian Restoration. I suppose it's Tiltron Restoration as well. So it is separate. On the plus side, we will be going back through Strong Cap on the way to Gosenberg. So I will be able to just pick that up. I do also have a point, thanks to making that armor as well. Although, as to what I'm going to use it for, eh, the jury's kind of out, I'll be quite honest. I don't actually know what to use it for at this point. There's so many things that we just haven't 
built already that we should probably focus on building first, you know? What's this one? Bonus, produce one more leather, produces infected blood from plague leather. Interesting. Hmm. It's a lot of wood and a lot of, like, rope that I don't have. And then this also produces oil from fish, which, I mean, it's, you know, it's something, isn't it? And then there's also this, which gains extra carrying capacity and more experience. More experience for the horses. Yeah, I mean, I'd, I'd rather just get through the stuff that we haven't even used yet, you know? That would be quite uh, handy, I'd say. That's all to do with, like, rimmer steel, rhyme steel, whatever you want to call it. Um, stuff anyway. I still haven't built any of the helmets because I haven't really needed to. Or I haven't felt the need to. I could unlock and learn the ghost buckler. That'd be all right. I could also unlock the the ghostly bone, the ghost pike. You know what? I think I am going to do that. I am going to do that. It's the only, like, set of ghost stuff that we haven't actually unlocked and utilized yet. Let me have a quick look to see what the, uh, what it's like. Three white leather, eight wood, three iron ore. Hmm, not, not terrible. Not terrible. I also still need a colossal paw, which I assume I'm, I get from bears. I'm assuming I get it from bears. And the coast pike is also three white leather, six wood. Generally speaking, like, pikes and bows generally have the same ingredients. Um, so that's one thing to look out for. Right. I'm going to go stock up on food. And then, I guess, it's off to the customs port. And then the tomb. Right, food's in. I think this is the best mission. I mean, to be fair, if that group that's in the watchtower, which I do believe they are, they are level 7. If we go by the last group which we just dealt with, which was also level 7, I'm not actually as concerned. My main concern is if we get there before our fatigue runs out. I would like to, so we're not camping like again. So if we get to there before we run out of fatigue, and then we can utilize it this turn, and then I only have to camp once in between getting to the actual, um... Ruin. I don't know if I'm going to make it, though, but I'm going to try my damnedest to get there. Come on. It's there. Run as fast as you can. But don't run so fast that you fatigue yourself so we have to rest. Find a good line between it. It's going to be close. It's going to be close. Oh. <laughs> that. That was like any, like an extra second or two. And I would have had to have rested. Oh, boy. Now that is why I call cutting it close. Right. Let's get in there. What the hell's looting experience? What does that do? Critical damage increased by... Th oh God. The benefits they get are sometimes a little crazy, you know? Little, little, little crazy? Little crazy. Okay, Ela, maybe come into the middle room here. Middle room? I know what I meant. Right, this'll probably do. Put Lyrian a bit closer. Put Yarman a bit closer as well. Krista, please go take out the first one. Put yourself like... I guess you could put yourself here and hit both poachers, maybe? Oh, wow. 130! <laughs> Woof. That's all I've got. Woof. Shouldn't mess, should you? And then, do you want to just go on Rampage? Man, and Krista's level 6, so... That's all I'm going to say to that. Right, wrongdoer, or wrongen. I don't know where he is. I bet. I bet he's in here. I can almost guarantee he's probably in here. Or he could be down here, actually. Or here, but I don't know if they can spawn that far back. So that one might be more of a... Maybe not. Um, hmm. I don't really know what to do in this case. Ela, do you want to, like, shoot? Who's next after this? The Hoodlum. So if I can shoot the Hoodlum, I guess. Okay, I don't think he actually is in here. And I can. So I will. I'll almost take his entire armor off. I will recall shot him as well just to line him up to die. And he should be also vulnerable? He is vulnerable. That's good. Where is he? Oh, sneaky little so-and-so. Okay, I will get the point, no thanks to Octavia's ability. What do you do? So you're the seasoned, you've got loot and experience, and you're engaged. You'll give him fragility. And then applies one poison to any unit dealing melee damage to this unit. Well, how the hell do you expect me to deal with him, then? We're only melee, except to you, We're only melee. I don't know how I feel about that. Okay, well, uh... Soul, do you want to see if you can actually get a kill? That'd be kind of cool. I don't know if you will. I guess we'll see. You'll come... You'll come pretty close. 
you'll, you'll come pretty close. You know what? Just weaken him. Just to make sure you don't die in the first uh, fight that you're in. That, uh, that hammer is going to be... Ow. Is going to be way more useful for, like... AoE to attacking several units at a time. But, you know, we know this. We know this, so... It's more just getting there. So does that mean Radonis, who would, like, be all the way over here, would that count as... Poisoned? No, it doesn't. Right, in that case, that's good. I can kind of work... I can kind of work with that. Call, in you go. Pinchy, pinchy. Yeah, I don't know how I feel about this new weapon. I'll leave it up to Cole to decide whether he thinks it's better or not. What's that bad sense? Better if that protection gave him something, but it doesn't really. Cora, could you come here and help out? Ah! There they are. It's not quite what I was looking for, but we might end up going for Cora instead. What I will do is I'll pull Cole out and I'll pull this Marauder over to Cora at least. I am now pissing through Valor Points, though, so I've got to be careful here. You know what? I'll... What are you doing? Oh, you hit your own guy. And you poisoned him. Okay, that's... <laughs> oddly fine. Right. Rolf, I need to go lock down this person and get into combat with them. It'll get me a point, at least. What? Yes, and now you can weaken him. Taunt him. Or taunt them. There's no point galvanizing right now if there's nobody else in range, so don't worry about that. That might do still do some damage. Got 17 when they're reduced. At least I got the repost, and now your armor's basically gone. Next on the chopping block is this Marauder here. I don't think I'm reaching it with any other character, though. That's the only downside there. I can do this and start dealing with this Marauder, and I'll also get a point for basically being behind it. So there's that, and then I can actually do it properly next time. Um, Femris, start going this way. Just start running. He's probably going to hit you both. Oh no, he only hit... Alright, he only hit Korra. Korra's built different, so it should be okay. Is what I'm hoping. We'll, we'll, we'll see. Now if I stand far away from him, will this... Oh, hello. Really? Still not in the right area for it? What about now? Is that still gonna count? It won't because you're not you're not touching him. Okay, well in that case. Get started. And then if you wanna run this way. Get a point. At least I know where he is. So that's the important part. Who's next? This scoundrel. Can I take him out? Can I deal the death blow? Unfortunately not. It's pretty close, but not this time. So, Chris is going to take a bit of damage. But then, someone, Yarman, is going to take offense to that. And he's going to deal the damage. I was, I was kind of hoping that would then give Chris to some better relationship with Yarman, but in this case it didn't. Bit of a shame, really. Right, now the aim really is just to get to Galvanization now. Who's next up? Who are you going for? Where are you going for? The horse? You dick! Well, that's not on. Are you, are you kidding? No, 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 no. We don't... We don't do that around here. Fix up Stomper, will you? Rogar get angry. He just tried to poison our horse to death. That's just not on. Not on, I say. Uh, Octavia, just gain deflection. I don't want you to actually attack. Because otherwise you'll take poison damage. So just hold the hold the fort for now. See, Stomper bites back or kicks back, whichever you want to see it as. Who's next? Hoodlum. Oh, it's the one here, isn't it? I bet my bottom dollar. Call. See him off, will you? I mean, after the second after the second punch stab, he was probably dead. Let's be honest here. Right, he's around here somewhere, right? Oh, perfect. Give me a point, please. Now, can I kill this jabroni before he actually does any further damage? Not this time. 
damn close, though. Damn close. We are going to take a bit of damage. I'll say, that, Skull Lord, why don't you just uh, sign up here and give him a cheeky stab? Well, thank you very much. There's the galvanization, baby. Come on, music. Kick back in, please. When you're ready. Stand here. All right. I was going to say, the music is just not interested today. Okay, keep it going. Come on. We want this idiot dead. And he is dying. He's not dead. I don't think we've got anyone else who's got an ability, so we're just going to have to hope for the best at this point. He is about to attack. Octavia, just hang on. Oh, that wasn't that bad. Okay, it got <laughs> it got a bit worse. It's fine. Who's next? This scoundrel. Uh, cheeky. Oh, you knocked him out of combat with the horse. Good job, Rogar. Although he might now attack you. I think that's just something you've got to accept, unfortunately. Right then. Spin to win. And then if you want to come around here, but be careful about it. You're going to attack. Are oh, you kill? You kill? You kidding me? You're such a rude bastard. I swear. Uh, Octavia, don't move just yet. Honestly, some people they're like, "Oh, I can't kill, can't kill a human, so I'm going to kill a horse." That doesn't even make sense. Idiots, idiots all around. No, I'm taking him out. He doesn't. He or she does not deserve to exist in this world. I'll say that for free. Come on, then. Let's go take out the trash. How dare you! He's just an horse, mate. He hadn't done anything wrong. I mean, he's killed a few people. He hadn't done anything wrong. Goodbye. That wasn't too bad. That could have been worse. If anything, it was good that Octavia locked down that guy. So we got another uh, Qatar, which is a bandit's Qatar, which is probably actually better, especially because each attack applies one poison, which is actually quite decent. Uh, sandstone, bandit heater shield. That looks decent. Uh, damage taken from shooting attacks reduced by 90%. And also a level... Six bow, but it is common, so it's not going to be all that great. I can repair everything. Ela leveled up. Thank you. Someone else got to level six. Jeez Louise, I was getting a little bit worried. What's your resilient one? Oh, 5% chance of resisting poison, bleeding, and burning. So basically damage over time effects. I mean, yeah, that's fine. Uh, unfortunately, you rolled nothing on dexterity, but you know what? I'm actually going to take the dull movement. I do want you to be as speedy as you can be. Now, is this bow that I just found better, or is it worse? It's... Hmm. So that's just shoot. What's that? That's vicious shot. That's just a damage knockback. But it is better. So, sure. You've got like double knockback. 17 to 30. What does that do? 18 to 30. Wait, so the dexterity is higher, but the overall attack is less? I think just for the versatility of being able to then knock two different targets back, I think I'll take the one damage less. It is a bit weird, though. It is a bit weird. Also, that bow is like a level 2 bow, so... I don't think we have anyone who's level 6 who is a shield person yet. I need to camp, but let's go here first and see what I can find. There might be some better stuff, you know. For one thing, I'll be taking the porridge. I'll definitely be utilizing that. I'll take the hemp. God, it's so much easier. When, when everything's highlighted in red, it's so much easier seeing stuff, isn't it? Uh, there's nothing up here, so there's only these two. Uh, fine, I'll take the flowers. It's not really much of a... Fine, though. I'm hoping there's something really good in this chest. All right, Cole. Do your thing. You're probably not too tired, are you? Our survey says maybe, because I'm kind of screwing this up quite a bit. Yeah. Oh, wow. Not actually got a lot of lockpicks. I need to stop playing around here. Right. Let me start taking this a bit more seriously. There we go. I took it semi-seriously. 30 XP is not bad, either. So what's in here? So 60 crowns, and then the embroidered handkerchief. has a chance that the stolen item may not be considered as stolen. Oh. Oh. Interesting. Where, where have you gone? Well, I mean, you can have that, right? Because then that means that anything that you nick will then make it so... Oh, I don't know, though. Do I go for reduce suspicion gain during a theft, or has a chance that a stolen item may not be considered as stolen? Does this work on anyone, or does it only work on a thief? Like, can I just give it to, I don't know, let's say, like, Lyrian, for example, and just because it's active in our group then that just means it's active overall. I mean, I'll, I'll try it. I'll see if it works that way. But I've got a sneaking suspicion it's not. You're only... Oh, God. You're only 60 XP off level 6. 
You're 19 XP off level 6. You're in like 300. So we're getting closer. We've now got another level 6, which is nice. God, you need some better armor, don't you, buddy? Um, I kind of feel like I can now throw this one away because this one's going to be better anyway by the time you get to level 6, which will be in 600 XP's time. <laughs> it's like 10 fights, man. It is not a small time. What? There's something else in there? No. No, there's nothing else in there. I don't know why it's still highlighting. Is there anything else? Not that I can see. Let's exit this area. Let's get camping. And uh, let's then get up to the tomb. So what do I get from that? More white leather, more, more materials, more dried fish. That's fine. We also got some influence, which is always very, very nice. Experience gaining combat is increased as well. Has anything, anyone got anything to say? No, we also did get a little bit of knowledge um, from this monolith and also a little bit of profession experience. He's kind of on the way. Uh, he's about to shine. On the plus side, unlike the last time he went to a tomb and had to, like, constantly use, like, Jimothy or Jimothish Jones for, like, every man, sort of like our Jack of All Trades, Master of None person, we now actually have a bard, we now actually have a skull. We've got someone per, like, every single, uh, thing now, don't we? We do indeed. It's good to know. Oh, no, someone does, does have something to say. Go on, Redonis, what have you got? Knowing that the guard is after me keeps me up at night. I wake with a star every time I hear... I wake with a start every time I hear change chat clang clanging in the distance. I mean, they almost don't want us. We're almost three. Put a group on high alert. Gets vigilant. Enemy aggression range reduced in the world. Complain. Gets one relationship downwards. Calm down. Requires 20, but I get two valor points. Calm down. Try to relax. Yeah, just chill, man. It's cool. We're good. Don't worry about it. All your friends have got you back. We're all here for you. Because we're all wanted at the same time. So we're kind of stuck like this. Not because we don't want to be like this, but, uh, yeah. Y y you get it. You get it. Okay. So let's keep an eye out for Wood and Iron Ore so I can level up like the Lectern and a few other things here and there. I think I'll probably try and upgrade the stuff we've already got in camp before I start adding even more shit to the camp. I think that's probably a good idea, you know? We'll see. Add Famous. And then add Producer. It's kind of getting on the way. None of them are super close, are they? Right, let's get out of here. And then let's get up to Tomb. I might take the... Ooh, wait, hang on. There's a fish spot here. I'm going to do this, and then I'll get up to the tomb. We're okay for food, though, but I would like to just do it. Okay, so something a little weird happened on the way here. You might notice that we've got a lot less fatigue than you'd expect. So I was going to go around the normal way, but then the popo sort of appeared coming down the mountain. So I went to come and hide back into the forest, and then there was like a random group of like loose criminals that just decided to attack us who were also in the forest. But they were like level four, so we absolutely decimated them. Which does mean that now, ba -ba -da -ba, Rolf is now level 6. So I am going to try out this new sword because it does give him more strength, but it is a different ability. So it's not just the swing arc ability anymore. It is just disengaging and running through people and giving them slow down. So I don't know if it is going to be better, and I don't know if it will work as well with his current skills, but it is just a general strength upgrade. So I guess we're going to find out one way or another. Right, I did decide to rest just before I went in because I know that it takes fatigue to get through the tomb. Now, I don't know how well this is going to go with only having two torches. Who are you? Oh, please be a torch vendor. Please be a torch vendor. Hi, Noema. I want you to go back down and look for my friends. But my leg. Oh, barely move and it starts bleeding again. I was bitten last night. Bitten, were you? I mean, I'll help you up. Here you go. My leg feels much better, thank you. Can I come with you? I want to find my friends. I mean, you look pretty strong, so... And you're going to give me a torch, so... Yes, actually. I assume it's going to be a temporary thing. Noema, you're at level 7. Um, yeah, go for it. You want to you wanna join us for the party? Then, by all means. Cool. Uh, I don't think there's anything here, I don't believe. How much did it cost to explore 3? It's going to be risky. It's going to be risky. I'm going to have to explore part of it and go get some more torches and come back. Oh, yeah. Well, at least we're only level 5. It took a minute to uh, settle in there. Oh, God, it is pitch black, though, because I don't currently have any uh, thing on me. Can I see where they are at all? No, is it going to be... Let's see if where they, where they show up. Yeah, I was going to say, I didn't see that up here, so it's kind of fair that that wasn't the case. Take that, mole rat. Well, that's one. Kind of find another one whilst I'm just dicking around, I wonder. There's one. Whatever makes life easier this way, you know? So say we all. So says Krista as well, who's going to galvanize. If that was two, I'm guessing there's maybe like eight of them? 
Maybe? Hi, Mr. Mole Rat. You're gonna be a pain in the ass, aren't you? Why, yes, you are gonna be a pain in the ass. What? You don't say. Cole, come over here, please. We don't have the smallest of my health. Go on, pinchy pinchy. Punching more rats, that's our job now, is it? It is when it works, I'll say that much. Right, move back out. God, they really are disappearing out of nowhere, aren't they? I mean, Lyrian's got repost, but you might as well just deal with it. I think, I'd say. I should have really um, equipped the torches, even if I wasn't going to, like, use them. But it's fun. Not to worry. Yeah, that one's now probably going to die. Oh, hello. Oh, God. That caught them all off guard. It caught me off guard. Right, Radonis, in that case, in you go, Benar, kid. I need to get to work. Okay. <laughs> I mean, I might as well throw it. I'm going to get the point back anyway. Can I angle it so I can hit them both? Go up there. Up there, Arkid. I don't think this... You'd have to do some wanted shit to do that. So, you know what? Kill it. Get me the point back. Thank you. That's fine. Little weirds, but it's fine. Clock it. Clock's unloaded, baby. Right. I am bursting through mana. I, I also said mana points, and I don't know why I said mana points. That was a weird slip of the tongue. Right. You're gone. Uh, let's keep on moving. But get a little bit closer to your friends as well. Kill them all, rats. She will kill them all, rats. Now, does the AI know where the other AI live? Like, it's kind of cheating when you think about it that way, but that would kind of be the case, wouldn't it? Oh, hello. Don't mind if I do. Close, but not quite. Skullord can probably finish it. I don't know if Stomper's animal instincts are going to kick in much. There is another one of those bigger creatures out there. I just don't quite know where it is. We're about to find out. Where is it? Hello. Ooh. Smacked Rogar right around the face for it. Rogar will retort. You won't do that much damage, though. Rolf will try and help out. Now, let's have a look at this. So, interception, disengaging, and charges. So, you just, just, like, charge through, right? I guess it doesn't specifically say, like, you need to charge for so long. You can just charge behind someone. And then if he's done, like, two attacks, he could then do laceration and then finish the job. It could still work, I guess. Just not in the way that we're used to. Hello. Okay. Okay, Radonis is getting sort of, like, the shitty end of the stick here. I don't appreciate it. Come on, then. Let's hurry up. Oh, there's another one of those things somewhere. Psst, uh, mm, it's still somewhere. I don't like that. It's like, oh, it's somewhere. It's still somewhere. It's out there. God, it's like the X-Files in here. Okay, the one that hasn't gone yet is gonna go next. Okay. Can I spin this to hit them two out hitting Radonis? One step. Just one step. What the hell? Why? What? How bizarre was that? I don't really... Oh, Christ. And where do you think you, you're coming from, buddy? Huh? Okay, well, can I angle it so I can hit them both? Because I'll get the point back. Weird that it wasn't showing up. Radonis will get the thing, though. No, I'm killing him. He's asked for this. I will heal you up, though. Here you go. Says he's on the medicine. I think. I, I would assume. Stomper! My boy. Good job. Uh, Lyrian, do you want to go finish it off? Ugh, can you do it around the fire? Do you, ha do you have to? Buddy, 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 my friend. Do you have to stand in the fire? You don't. Good job. Good job, buddy. Oh, man, he doesn't even have any knees. That I can see. He's dead now. Whatever it was. Okay, well, um, yeah, fill your boots, I guess. Uh, Rogar, Rolf, Femris, Octavia's there. Yarman, just, just finish it off. Just finish it off. Uh, oh, no, he's still... Yeah, okay, fine. I didn't notice that mole rat was still there. It's alright. 
not to worry. Still good. We're still fine. Taking a bit of armor damage. More than I expected, to be honest. But it is what it is. It's all right. Come on, Cole. Punch through. Break on through to the other side. There it is. Are we good? We're good. Good job. More will level up as well. I'm going to loot all this shit. More food for us. Let's get repaired. Nobody needs healing, which is good. More welcome to level 6. You love to see it. Uh, I wouldn't mind double decks, but you know what? Just for the sake of more health. I'll take more health. Uh, let me just quickly... Oh, I can't camp currently. I can't grab the stuff that's in like our camping area. What I'm going to do then is, just so I can see a bit better, is do that. And then Skull Lord, do that. It still counts towards this overall, so that's fine. What's going to be here? Will it highlight even though I, it's in like complete darkness? The inscription reads... Urkashet, known as the Builder. Okay. Alright. That's fine. Explore three. Oh, God. Are you telling me there's nothing... I need a golden key. Are you telling me there's nothing else here? Like, at all. Do I have to, like, shake this to make it work a bit better? It's like a shake weight. Okay. I don't see shit. I need to keep an eye out for those, like, weird rune things as well. But, um, I'm not seeing anything this time. Let me quickly camp in this very creepy place. I just want to grab the knife outside of the chest more than anything. But if I go to mall very quickly, is it better? I have to assume it is. Wow. Yes. It's so much better. God damn. Um, what level is that? It is level 6. Now, technically, can I put on the layer of the falcon on this now? I can. That's amazing. 41% crit chance. Wow. That's... That's fantastic. Still a fair whack of torchlight. I need to explore... this two roots? Two roots. Okay. You see the room below, several meters under your feet. A piton has been driven into the edge of the platform you're standing on, but a rope has been removed. Let's use a rope. Yep. Very handy, that rope. See, at least rope is useful in this game. I'm calling you out, Baldur's Gate. Okay, so it's the weird circle thing, but it's red. Well, I remembered. Hi there. Oh, is this one of your friends? I'll grab that. Ooh, a knowledge rune. Another torch. I needed that. And a pocketbook. Generates a small amount of knowledge experience for each rest. Well, I know who I'm going to give that to before I forget. Because I'll forget. Believe me, I will. And you probably know this already as well. Where'd he go? Where'd he go? Here you go. Octavia likes books. She's now got a little pocketbook. It's so on brand. I love it. Uh, okay, so there's the red circle there. I'm assuming that wasn't one of her friends then, because she didn't really react that much. Come on. Uh, is there anything else I can react with here? No, can't see anything. It wouldn't make sense to be able to highlight stuff around here, I guess. Let's keep going. Okay, there's still so many areas. I feel like I might have gone this way incorrectly, you know? What's this? Stone Crest. At the end of their turn, the unit has a 5% chance to gain 1. I mean, it's something. Let me have a look at this. Uh, Cora, here you go. Have a crest. A few pieces of wood have been nailed to the wall and held together by a padlock to create a makeshift barricade. What's behind there? That's my question. I'm going to go the other I think I'm going to go the other ways first. Can I grab? Is there anything else to grab around here? It's really hard to see. I mean, obviously, it's very hard to see. This place is a lot creepier than the other place. <laughs> As foretold. Everybody stack up together. You do the first move, because there's not very much point you doing anything. In the nicest way possible. Ow. Well, there's one. That's a start. That's a lot more damage. At least you attack the person who's got, like, the most highest defense, so I'm not really too worried about that. I guess I will try and do this without, um using too many points that I can't re... Oh, Ferris and Yarman. Oh, good. They don't hate each other as much now. That's nice. How lovely. You love to see it. No, don't use a torch. We need those. Just kill it normally like a regular person would. Yeah, okay, fine. All right. Yeah, if I can make it so I can just use the temp points, that would be really useful. And I'll get another temp point there. That's good. We're all galvanized as well. Let's see where they crop out of next, because it could be literally anywhere at this point. 
Oh, okay. You didn't get that far. I mean, I'm okay with that. You just didn't get that far. I did also use this in that uh, fight that I did off camera. It was very good when I attacked several people at once. It went cray cray when I used it. Very fun. Very fun weapon. I hope to see much more of it in the future. Okay, now they're all cropping up. I'm going to need to seriously do some repairs after this. Jeez, more than anything. How much use has I got of this? I'm, I'm not going to use it. I don't want to risk it. With all the people for them to attack, the people with the most shields is fine. Uh, Krista, just get in there. I don't know where the big, like, evil ones are. But we can at least take out that one. Kind of like walk that way, maybe? Hmm. I'm dubious as to where it is. Very good. Very good. Right. Where, where is it? Where are you? Okay. I'm, oh, God. Of all the people to attack, of course they attack Ela. It's not very nice. He's only just got to level 6, man. Leave him alone. Leave him alone. There is another one of those somewhere. As to where, well, I guess we'll find out together pretty soon. Oh, there's another bloody mole rat. Oh, that might actually be a good area for Saul to go ham. I hope. Oh, hello. How's it going, buddy? Okay, this is getting a bit out of control now. Okay. Okay, it's time to chill out with that. It's really time to chill out with that. Right, get the galvanize on. Turns out there's quite a lot of them in that corner. And uh, Lyrian's getting the brunt force of it. He can't sing his way out of this one, unfortunately. Did that... Why did that not work? Did the galvanization not work? Is that why I just saw that? Oh my god, there's so many of them. There's so many more of them than I thought. Which one goes first? Um, right then. Well... Attack again. And then again. I'd say that's pretty decent. And then again. And then if you want to go here, and we can taunt this one. That way Lyrian won't get smacked by it. Good job, Sol. Fantastic work. And now if you want to swing in here, hit them both. And then pull back a bit, get me the point. Screw it. You know what? Do it. Revenge time, baby. No. Actually, no. I wouldn't mind getting the uh, XP and the points. Although, I actually don't know if how much this impacts what we get. To be perfectly honest, I don't. One's fine. This is the hubbub. This is the problem, child. Slice quickly. Shema doesn't do actual fire fire damage, but it's alright. It's alright. Don't worry about it. Go nuts, please. That's exactly what I meant. Great work. Lovely stuff. Skull, get over here. Lock down the rat. That's fine. We'll hitting it kill it. It won't, so don't worry about it. Oh, you can see because there's lights. Ah. Okay. That's good to know. I didn't know that was going to be a thing. I'm glad to know what it is now, though. Okay. We're okay. Just. Bloody hell. Grab that. Oh, we're out of, like... We're, we're out of tools. We are out of tools. That's not a good look, is it? So what's going on here? What have I found? Is there anything good? Uh, ooh. You have discovered the ruin. Rune? Rune? Town, not ruin. Rune, you idiot. I did also find another rune. I don't know if that uh, just automatically went into my, like, rune catalog, you could call it. Or if it's just, like, in my inventory somewhere. I think it went in the catalog. That's fine. Um, I guess I'm just breaking in. I don't see anything else I can... Come on, Torch. I don't see anything else I can loot around here? No. Sorry, buddy. I, uh... I need to get in here. I hope you don't mind. I don't think Femris minds after that fight, honestly. Don't really know if I'm going to get anything out of just, like, pickaxe it. Oh, I got a lot of sandstone. 
Fair play. Oh, I uh, apologize for the intrusion, but I'm, I'm coming in here. Oh, we finished it. Even though we haven't finished it yet. And we got the Builder's Codex Chapter 3. Amazing work. Uh, and we also got some stuff we can sell. Uh, we're not obviously done with some other areas we need to go and look around, but at least we've done the main part. There wasn't like a door to get through like last time, unless there is another area that we need to get through. Oh god, there's still so many areas we need to get through. This might be a slightly longer episode than normal. <laughs> I mean, I'm fine with that. Right, let's quickly explore this way. We are running a bit low on torches. It would be nice to find another torch. Just If we find one more torch, I feel like that'll kind of like... The woman was eaten by something. She just blinked. She's blinking. Eating, was she? I can see her, eye, her Your eyes are moving, lady. I know you're still alive. Why, why are you pretending to be dead? That's weird. All right, more codexes and more stuff. I can sort of sort this. God, there's still more down here. This place is massive. Like, straight up massive. Oh, whoa, whoa. Come on. Come on, torch. Bro. Okay. Blue triangle, red circle. This place is way bigger than the other place. The grounds look very unstable. One might easily get hurt. Uh, oh God, fine. Cautiously. Don't get attacked. Okay. We're not going to get attacked. The door is locked. The way is shut. Um, yeah, I assume this is to do with the uh, contraption, right? Because I'd need, like... It was the... What? It was a circle, and then it was, like, a blue triangle, but I don't know about the yellow part. Is, is it in here, by any chance? Through, through, through the look? What's this? There is a bucket on the side of the well, but there is no telling what it contains. Um. Oh, okay. Yarman? Reach for the bucket. Your companions make it to... Fool of a tuck, Yarman! Throw yourself down next time! I mean, that was obviously a reference to Lord of the Rings. Very cool, though. Less cool than their level 7. I also don't know how many there are. Right, everybody get ready. This could be it for some people, if we're not careful. Everybody get a tightly knit, tight, tightly knit group around. Get close and tuck in. This is going to be a pain in the arse. Don't you know it? I know it, you know it. Sick reference, bro. Your references are sick, but not right now, because this is going to be a problem. I need to kill as many of them as quickly as possible to get me Sen. Well, you know which one. You know what you want me to do. I know what I want to do. It's called Galvanization, baby. Probably heard of it. It's kind of dead! Ow. Problem is now, obviously, my arm is going to fall through like nobody's business. Which in itself is a bit of a problem. Up here. Hopefully, Noema just takes care of that one. Hello. Oh, man. Ela. Be careful now. God, there's a lot going on, isn't there? A lot going on. I can't get there either. Can you get, like, around? Like, kinda? This is dangerous. Drums in the, drums in the deep, indeed. If I use this once, is it gonna... I'm gonna have to use this. To save him. I'll do it to save him. Evidently there's a lot of them because the, um... This is not going down very quickly. Where, where are you going? What do you know that I don't know, game? <laughs> what aren't you showing me right now? Finish it. Okay. Get me a point, please. She could, she could somehow see it. She could somehow see it. And there's the problem. Lyrian, you don't have a lot of armor, so join this group over here, please. Oh god, Noema's getting her ass kicked now. Fair play to the girl. She's doing her best. Radonis, can you see anything? Nothing at all. Nothing at all. Really? You punched my horse? There's also the part where... There's another big kahuna somewhere. There's like a big guy just hidden out there. Somewhere. There's going to be a problem. 
Probably not that one, no. Chris is probably gonna kill it, like, almost instantaneously. Yeah, that's just the way it rolls sometimes, baby. That's just the way it rolls. But you three try and stay in, like, a little unit. Mainly because of that keeps happening. More rats are a pain in the ass. what can I say? They would never watch Kim Possible. Well, you know what? Rufus was fine. Rufus was fine. I'll not take this Rufus slander. God, that one just charged. Bloody hell. He really came in on us. Alright, bloody hell. There is so many of them. I hope I get something amazing from this, because there is so many of them. Oh boy. We haven't even seen, like, the big mama jammer either yet. We don't know where he is. Come on, horsey. Fight for your life, horseman joke. I should have called him Bojack. I didn't. For legal reasons, I didn't. Is that Quiplot? Quinipios. Ah, shit. Right, okay. Which one goes first? Rolf. I want you to run... Here. I want you to... Galvanize. Give me a point, please. I want you to lacerate. And then... I don't know. I could then weaken it, but then I'm going to be down a point. Ugh, I don't actually know. I need to get Stomper out. That's the... Uh, the big thing. You know what? Come here. Sorry, Noema, you might die. Sacrifice I'm willing to make for my group. Hello. Hey! <laughs> well, hey! <laughs> so he says, apparently. Right, how's that one going to react? She's kind of alright. <sighs> Kinda. Right. I'll tell you what. Come here, you'll get the point. If that one moves... Stab it. Oh, man. Um. Okay. When does... Quinipios go? More like Creepios go. Haha. <laughs> Haha. <laughs> uh, get it? I get it. I don't really know how to lock it down. Who's got the most health? Right, Femris. You've got the most health. Get in there, Arcid. Good luck. I'm trusting you. And then, what is it? Each time they gain deflection, that's fine. Live. LIVE! Come on. I assume this is the last battle inside the tomb, but I, I, I don't know. It, it might. It might not be. Who really knows? Right, Skullord, you'll get extra damage for stabbing it in the back, so... And surrounding it. So that's decent enough. Ow. At least you don't get, at least you don't get, like, fever and stuff from these guys, so that's something. Or, like, the dying statuses or anything like that, so small victories. Alright, Quinipios, you better drop me something good, I tell you. Okay, he might straight up die next turn. Mm, so might Noema. Ooh, nice, Yarman. Hey, man. Good. Very good. Right, who's still got an attack? I can't. Can I aim it? I can. Rogar's really going up in the world. Although I said this about Bolt, and then Bolt died in the next episode, so I'm going to stay quiet. Bye now. The fact that we've killed quite a lot of them, but our galvanization hasn't really gone up that much is a little bit concerning. It would suggest that there's still more of them out there. I mean, I hope that's not the case, but it would suggest that. Oh! Idiots. To be fair, there is quite a lot of them, like, down there. So there's, like, what, four? Five left? Four left. I, I feel like there's probably more. Secretly, there's probably more out there, because this really isn't going up that much. I don't know. A little bit concerning, isn't it? Well, there's the galvanization, at least. She did use a torch. I don't know if that impacts our torch use. I hope it doesn't. But I guess we'll have to find out. 
Together. Oh, look at that. There's another one. Bloody knew it. <laughs> I bloody knew it. Well, run over there. Okay, I can't. I can't see anything. Elo, come over here. Stay well hidden. You two just chill over there. In of itself, that's a problem. Who are you going for? Oh god, that's a crit. Fenris. Also, I think there's like a rock here or something. Come here. Kill this one. Thank you. Now, I think Rolf should. Okay, he can at least kill this one. Oh, wait. Actually. Choo choo. Get him out of here. I'm not interested. God damn. Okay. Well, let's loot everything. At least we got some uh, tea for that. Squad will get to level 5, which is very nice. Uh, let me just put his... I'll put his crit up. That'll be good. And then we're going with, like, general poisoning. So, I don't really know. Every time the unit attacks from behind, they apply to poison. Poison weapon. There you go. If we're going full on poisoner, that's good. Uh, Rogar will also get to level 5, which is fantastic. I'd rather go for strength on this one, so I'm going to use influence. And we'll go damage increased by 50% against units with 30% of health less. I mean, I do like Recklessness, but I feel like I'd just be copying Krista if I did that. At the end of each turn there, I don't like Fanaticism, though. I think I'll go for Madness. You're just going to hit a lot harder against people who've got a lot less health. Did anybody else level up? Is everyone... Right, so the top four are now level six. Yarman is close to level six. Oh, mate. Okay, note to self, don't touch buckets. They're bad for your health. Am I just going to have to guess what the yellow thing is? Instead of having to, like, go somewhere else to go and figure it out. Oh, uh, no, do I just start going, like, willy-nilly with it? Is someone going to get hurt if I do, like... I don't know what happens. Ah! I have I have injured I have injured Skull Lord. I'm very sorry, buddy. I mean, I do have a lot of medicine, so there you go. Insta-heal! Um, do I just go, like, down the, like, roster and figure it out? Oh, well, okay. <laughs> Apparently, it can be the same um, thing. It's just like a different color. Cool. That was actually kind of fortuitous, wasn't it? Let's uh, have a gander. Please give me another torch. I've got so little left. I'm guessing this is the... Oh, my God. There's more? How many torches do you think I... Ah, I'm going to have to run away, aren't I? Hello. What's this? Two gems glimmering in the monster's eye sockets. Taking them should be tarot display. Left eye. Right eye. Leave. Oh. That was it? Seriously? And then fragments, and then an ancient idol. Every time this unit kills an enemy, they generate one extra morale. That's quite cool. Um, I'm not going to have the torchlight to get back. I feel like everyone, I'm going to have to run away. Unless I push through and then it gives me a way out? Oh no, I'm, I'm back here. Which was the way out? I don't remember. Uh, Ruby... Sapphire, Builder's Codex. I feel like I've missed something. I feel like there's an area that I didn't go in that tomb. But I feel like I also need to get out. You know? Ugh. Well, I made it. I'm out, at least. I am sorry, but I cannot come with you. I must get back to my friends. Oh, so, yeah, there's definitely a part that I missed there. But I need more torches to figure it out. Okay, Noema. Um, I feel like there was a part. There was definitely, like, one area that I missed. But I'm going to have to come back because I am out of torches. Unless I've got loads of grease all of a sudden so I can make it. No, I've got resin. You can't make torches from resin, apparently. Okay, I basically finished it. I just need to do a lot of armor recovery because we got into a lot of fights. On the plus side, it did mean that we have now got four level sixes. And also, we've got some people who are also close to level six. Like, not far off at all. But I definitely need to go get some stuff to build some more torches because I think it was like... Maybe two rooms that I missed. I assume in one of those rooms is where the last, like, thing was that would have told me. Wh why is my brain not working? The shape and the color. The color of the shape. Um, but we just guessed it, so whatever. Second second time's a charm, apparently. Okay. I guess I'm going to nip back to town, grab a few torches, and then come back. But I think I'm going to do that at the start of the next episode, because I think this might be a long one. This has been a lot of fights, and there's been a lot of stuff to done. And uh, if I'm going by my recording, I'm over two hours. So I'm hoping this goes down to an hour. I guess we'll see. Uh, so next episode, we will finish off the tomb. I only need to go down to like one area. Is she still like in here? She is. She is. So I can at least go back and help her. Um, so I'll quickly knit back to Korsha. 
fix stuff up and get healed. This will hopefully have basically gone down by then. We'll go back in, do the last, I think there's like two more rooms maybe. And then we're going to go do Bandit's Lair and then go find the Champion of Artes. But nobody died. That was nice. We got to see some of the new people. And we got in a lot of fights. We got a lot of another more level sixes, which is always very nice to see. As always, if you enjoyed this episode, feel free to check out the rest of the channel. Show us more than ever you enjoy. Feel free to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you know next time we're going out with the These Hurters in War Tales. Can't wait to them. Feel free to join the Discord and get involved in the conversation. Ciao for now, guys and girls. Until next time.